Hey, it's Candace, and in today's QuickBooks Tips and Tricks, we are going to jump in and talk about credit cards. So as you probably know, if you've been watching my channel for very long or getting my tips and tricks through email, I have done quite a few credit cards trainings. But today, the credit card training is about refunds. So somebody sent me in a question where they said they often pay their credit cards online, and sometimes when they go to pay their credit card, if a credit has come through or a refund, when they go to make the payment, the credit card company applies that first. And so they actually owe less than what their statement originally said. How do they handle that? So the first thing is I always teach you guys to go under banking and enter your credit card charges directly in, not as a bill, but under each credit card. So what I would recommend to you if you, when you're in, let's, let's step back one step just as explanation, because I always like to teach you guys more of the concept. So when you're inside of your credit card right here, and it shows how much you owe, it doesn't really matter if your refund is applied at this moment or not. What you're going to do is you're going to go in and you're going to write a check. So let's say that you went in to pay your credit card online. You can put online if you want. And you're going to put your credit card company... And let's just say we're going to pay $200 towards the Bank of America credit card. Okay. And it currently owes on it. Let's see. Bank of America credit card. There's $310.93. So let's say that we're only going to pay $200 because when we went online, that's actually all that we owed. So we're going to hit save and close. What happens inside the credit card is now it says I owe $110.93, which might be the amount of the credit. So what I would do then is I would just apply the amount I actually paid. Then when I get my next credit card statement, if you have the credit card statement, I would go in, enter all your purchases, enter all your credits, and in the end, everything will balance out. But don't be so stressed that what you paid in QuickBooks doesn't exactly match what it currently is owed. You want to verify it against your statement every month. So go in and just apply when you're writing your check directly to your credit card, the amount you paid, not what the balance says is owed in QuickBooks. Does that make sense? And if you have a balance, that's fine. When you do your next credit card statement, you'll go through, you'll, inter you'll reconcile it, right? So at the end of every month, when you go in to reconcile your credit card, it will all work out in the wash. So let's say we said the balance was $200, right? And that's what we paid. You go through here and you apply your payments, you apply your charges, and in the end, your difference will end up as zero. All right, I hope that answered your question. If it didn't, comment below. My point is apply the payments based off what you actually paid. Don't worry about the credit ahead of time. Do it as you go along. If you want, you could technically go in under banking enter the credit card as a refund and enter it in so it does balance out to zero if that really bothers you. But I, I would prefer that you enter your charges based off every statement that you get so you don't make an error. Does that make sense? Thank you for being here. Thank you for trusting me. As always, if you enjoy my tips and tricks, don't forget to subscribe, like this video. And if you're wanting to receive these tips and tricks when I create them directly in your email. I send them out now every other week. Feel free to go to the link above and add your name and email and you'll find out about not only my tips and tricks, but when I offer specials on my courses. And if you haven't heard, I have a course called Confidence with QuickBooks where you can learn everything you need to know about QuickBooks A to Z in a simplified version, just like my YouTube trainings. And if you need help one-on-one, -on -one, you just cannot get something answered, feel free to set up a strategy appointment with me. I will talk to you guys soon. All the links are up above. Have an amazing day. Bye.